Hey, welcome back to Brunette Wig Place. I'm Lisa. I'm so glad that you are here today. So before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And then every time I post a new wig related video, you will get a notification letting you know that I have posted something new. So I'm so excited to show particularly my petite headed friends this cute style today. This is Berlin by Aesthetica and the color on her is Caramel Kiss RT4, which is their rooted version of their beautiful Caramel Kiss shade. So Aesthetica has just come out with four new petite styles that are based on styles that they have in their average cap wigs. So this particular one, Berlin, is based on their Avalon style. And I will insert a picture here. This is me in the Avalon style in Chocolate Smoke from a review that I did, oh, 2019, I think maybe? So beautiful color, by the way. And then you can see Berlin. So you can see there are a lot of similarities between the Chocolate Smoke and Berlin. So, but they uh, decided to distinguish, I think, these petite styles from their average cap styles so that our us petite ladies can go directly to these styles and know that these are the petites, which I think is a really great idea. So she is super cute. So I'm excited to share it with you today. So let me do a spin and I will show you her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specifications. So here she is from the front. As you can see, you know, like those pictures that I just showed, she's got that swoop that goes by the forehead, which is really nice, gives you some forehead coverage. I have seen her with bangs cut in and, and that is something that is doable with her. So, really cute. So this is my right side, the back, my left side, and then back to the front. Her curls are so pretty. I just love the way they're, they're not too tight curly, but they have enough curl that you can definitely, it's definitely considered a curl more than, you know, like a beachy wave or something. So really, really pretty curls, especially in the back. So anyway, so as far as her cap construction, she is a lace front, just like the Avalon style is. And then she has a left mono part. And the thing I really like is that this mono part is going all the way back to the crown, which is something I'm seeing a lot of wig makers do. And I give it a double thumbs up. I love it. I love that they put that part in there that goes all the way to the crown. It just looks so much more natural. So very, very nice. And then her ear tabs are nice. And when I show you these ear tabs, you can get an indication of the fit. So I'll show you, there's a little bit of space above my ear. The back of, here's the cap right here. The cap is not pushing on my ear at all, which is really, really nice. And the ear tab is, you know, falling in a really good place here. So I am 11 ear to ear. And as you can see, these ear tabs are, here's the very end of the ear tab right here. So there's a little bit of space right here, but it's not bad. I would rather have space there than have an ear tab that's pushing on my ear because there's no worse headache than an ill-fitting wig that you have had on your hair for your head for several hours. So I do have a little bit of bio hair that shows there. So, so if you have more bio hair, you might have some there, but you'll see when the hair falls down that um, it, you know, the hair pretty much covers that. So, and then there's a good piece of metal inside that ear tab. Make sure the other side is fitting the same way. So very, very nice. I'm really impressed with the style. Okay, as far as her measurements, her measurements are, she has a 10 and a half inch bang here in the front. She has a 12 and a half inch layer from the crown. Her sides are also 10 and a half and her nape back here is nine and a half. So really, really nice length. I really prefer if I wear a longer wig, I really prefer it to not really have more than a nine and a half, 10 inch nape. That is just enough length you know, to be considered long hair on me, but not be so long that it's really difficult to manage. The, the wigs that, you know, go all the way down the back, I know some people love them, but for me personally, I just find them to be kind of a hassle. I'm not used to having that much hair. So I really like this more manageable length where it comes right to the shoulders. Really, really pretty. So cute. Okay, so let me pop her off and we can look at the inside of her cap. Okay, inside of the cap for Berlin by Aesthetica. So as you can see, she's got a nice long lace front. And then here is that all the way back to the crown mono part. Really nice. And it's, you know, you have a pretty good parting space there if you want to move it a little more towards the middle perhaps or something like that. I like the way the part came on it. It's, it's just parting right down the middle of that monofilament, which is perfect for me. 
So really, really nice. She's got these, um, I don't know, it's not, the, it's not the felt, but it's a soft material on the ear tabs with a good piece of metal. She's open wefted all throughout. She has an open wefted extended nape and she has these hook adjusters, which we see on the Aesthetica wigs, which are great. You know, I have found that they stay in place really, really nicely. And then up here, she's just got some closed uh, lace and there's a little bit of permatease on Berlin, but it's not, you know, it's more that she has a lot of hair as far as the volume is concerned. Okay. Okay, let's jump in and talk about this color, Caramel Kiss with the root of four. So uh, really, really pretty color. The Caramel Kiss is, I, I reviewed Mellow and Caramel Kiss, just the plain Caramel Kiss without the rooting. So I was really excited to try the uh, rooted version of it because I really like a rooted brunette. I've told y'all that in the past. I really love when they just have a little bit of rooting. I like the realism that that brings. So uh, the description on this color is the Caramel Kiss is a golden brown with a copper blonde highlight. So you can see that beautiful highlight. The highlight is, you know, very visible. It's a chunkier, uh, thicker highlight visible to the eye. So not going to be a, you know, a muted soft highlight, although it's not, it just looks like you went to the salon and got your hair highlighted. Great uh, brunette for summer. And it's always placed really well, I've noticed. I've seen other women with, you know, other styles in this color. The color placement is always really, really good. So, looks really, really pretty. And then it has this dark brown root. So, you can see that rooting. You know, you can see it along the lace front. Although, even though the knots are dark from the, you know, dark rooting, they aren't bad at all. So, you can see it here. And then as you pull the hair up, you know, that rooting shows underneath as well. So, very realistic, very natural looking. Really, really pretty. Beautiful color. Okay, let's take Caramel Kiss RT4 outside in the natural light and we will look at her outdoors. Okay, so we are outside under my patio cover with this Caramel Kiss with the four root. Really pretty, you can see those beautiful highlights. And I will step out here. My bushes are all still dead. We're just supposed to replace them this weekend, so it's raining a little bit too. So you can see that rooting out here. There's that lace front. There's your mono part. And you can see that rooting along there. Very, very pretty. Wish it was sunny so we could really show off these highlights. But instead I'm filming in the sprinkles. Okay, so back inside with this Caramel Kiss RT4 shade. So really beautiful. I wish it had been sunny. I'll have to film her outside with some sunshine and put it on my Facebook page and my Instagram page just so y'all can see the beautiful highlights out in the sun. So anyway, I want to talk for just a minute about the way this petite cap is fitting because I know that if you're if you have a petite circumference, you need to know all these little details about how it's fitting. So let me remind you of my measurements. I am 21 inches around. That's my circumference. I am 11 inches from ear to ear, and I'm 13 inches from forehead to nape. So I have true petite measurements. And this cap is fitting me great. You know, I talked about it a little bit with the ear, ear tabs, but I'll just speak to, you know, the cap is not roomy on me at all. I mean, I can move the cap around a little bit back here if I stick my fingers in there, but it is right on my head, you know, like feels like it's molded to my head. I didn't bring the adjusters in for my circumference or anything. It's just fitting me so great. As I said earlier, I'm really happy with how the ear tabs are falling on me. It is just really, really comfortable and fitting my petite measurements just great. So thank you, Aesthetica, for making these cute petite styles based on some of your popular styles from your average cap line. It's so nice that we're gonna have this option to have a few of these styles um, in petite caps for a smaller headed lady. So anyway, really, really cute. I'm very happy with it. So as far as styling, you know, uh, Berlin has a lot of vers versatility. So she is very ear tuckable and she's very easy with glasses. I always like to cover that first so I don't forget. So super easy, no problem. Put your glasses up on your head. No issues whatsoever. 
She's not uncomfortable to tuck behind my ears. As I said, she does have a little bit of tease, but it's mostly just right at the rooting. She's not, you know, full of pillowy chromatease or anything like that. So she does have a lot of hair. So if you're see the volume that you're seeing is really mostly from the fact that she does have a lot of hair. She's supposed to be, you know, a way a curly, you know voluptuous type style so that's just what she's supposed to be and she's she's such a pretty style as i said earlier i love the curls so anyway you're styling you know you can style her all kinds of different ways you can pull this front part back you have a nice lace front so you know that is not a problem you can do her half up and half down pull down a little you know tendril here in the front and that is very pretty she really lends herself well to this style you can also put her all the way up into a low pony. Just make sure that you uh, push down that extended nape. And she looks really cute like that. And those curls are very pretty in a low ponytail. So very, very pretty. You can put a headband in her and that looks really cute. And again, I like to I love this little wave she has here in the front. So I just really love to play with that when I put her up or, you know, however I style her. So really cute. And then you could also, of course, whoop, I'm pulling my wig off. Get that back where it's supposed to be. <laughs> you could also, of course, you know, just stick a headband in her and that's really cute too. So she is just an adorable style. So. Petite headed world, we welcome Berlin and we welcome her uh, sister wigs as well into our <laughs> repertoire. This is so nice. So really excited about this style. So I purchased this style with my own funds at Wig Studio One. And, you know, I recommend Wig Studio One highly for uh, your wig purchases. So anyway, super, super cute style. So happy to bring her to you today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.